So the first song I'll be doing is from the first, my new single. This song is really all about being a stay-at-home parent, which I've been pretty much full-time for the last six years. And all the joys and the pain of that. <laughs> Let's have a listen. We'll go through the music and the lyrics and I'll just talk shy about it, basically. So first thing I want to talk about is this little sort of Brian Wilson inspired bit of percussion there that I think it ended up being some kind of cowbell it's a little bit uh, it's quite subtle in the mix but also we're straight back into delicately strummed acoustic classical guitar of John Hines we're safe for here folks nothing strange is going to happen Delicately thumbed, zoom, and I'm doing my usual. Dun, 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 dun. When I met you, I was forced. Lovely bit of bass from Connor Sweeney. My kind of. My head full of dreams and my heart full of hate. I was going for a bit of a Sam Cooke kind of early Motown vibe here. But I loved you from the first. And I know I'm cursed You're the worst But I will love you all my days I think anyone who spent any time with small kids will understand that sentiment You're the worst But I will love you all my days <laughs> Or spent any time with anybody really <laughs> uh, So yeah, I was going for that kind of what I call pop music, which probably finished in about 1962. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Sam Cooke, kind of Motown, Spanish Harlem, all those stuff, all that stuff. Early Phil Spector. Before all the uh, controversy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's keep listening. <laughs> Ken Mooney, the drummer who's in the Mary Wallopers, uh, but well-known session drummer, been around for years. He's even met the crickets, so. <laughs> uh, when I first th did the demo, it was very much a Ringo. I wanted a real busy Ringo vibe. But, uh, Ken had the idea of using, I think he uses those, what do you call them? Not not brushes, the other thing that's in the, in the middle. Hang on. These things. What I would have called when I was 15, the Alan White uh, Wonderwall sticks. <laughs> so they're just, they're, they give a nice balance between a bit of punch and softness and it means he can uh, be a bit busier on the kit without going to Dave Grohl <clears throat> I love Foo Fighters they're one of my favourite bands <sighs> also on this song I remember I was inspired by Real Love Baby by Father John Misty I loved the kind of simplicity of it and the guitar at the start, but I'm actually not as cool as him and I, could, I came out with a much nicer, soft version like your granny would love, as usual. <laughs> so I'm always looking for that indie coolness, but you know, it's I can't seem to quite get there. Anyway, uh, 
so yeah there's a bit of chord similarities I think what tuning is this in Okay, so let's keep listening. Some really beautiful string arrangements here from Cormac Kern. And I remember he was he was on the road with Hosier in America while he was working on these string arrangements and he used to get text messages in the middle of the night. <laughs> but he uh, did a great job and he in this song in particular they really stand out and it, it one of the things I love about I did old music and I didn't really it's something I didn't I couldn't put into words or intellectualise until quite recently where I was like okay where the drums can be really busy but they're because of the way they used to record them with maybe one or two mics they're not like blasting and it's the same with strings in old music often there's this quartet or whatever a few more players and they're not the way it's mixed is it's like one instrument so it's there's a bit less of that kind of saccharine just like synth pad vibe um, and this is song is quite um, successful in achieving that and Cormac was really clever in rather than doing the kind of just background noise of strings he's weaving in and out of the song where I'm singing and the rest of the arrangement I'll make a home a church a prison of our love I'll gladly wear the cuffs and there's a lovely bit here where when I say the word church in comes Gavin Glass on the Hammond just like back in the old days when we used to play in church you know every Sunday I'll gladly wear the cuffs the rest of my days. So again, make our home a church, a prison of our love. I'll gladly wear the cuffs the rest of my days. Some uh, lockdown inspired lyrics there, I think. <laughs> I loved you from the first, and I know I'm cursed. Oh, stay with me. So I remember with this song in particular, often I have too many ideas and I'm trying to get too much in and sometimes I fail at that and end up putting too much in songs. Sometimes I'm like, God, oh, can I just like not put the kitchen sink in for once? I'm really envious when I hear someone who's like has an acoustic album and it's just like acoustic and maybe a couple of other instruments. Like, oh, why can't I do that? But um, so that lead guitar kind of line, the sort of Hank Marvin vibes and there's the strings and there's also a slide guitar bit and there's a little kind of a stab on an organ which I definitely ripped off Father John Misty Oh I just love the kind of woman who can walk over a man Bow. that bit Um. So here's guitar solo. This one was a toy with it being an acoustic, but it was a bit, again, because of modern recording techniques, it was sounding a bit too pristine and kind of like, it was reminding me of the Stone Roses, but not in a good way. <laughs> Even though I love the Stone Roses, but just, yeah, that too clean sounding acoustic. So I went with, 
um, two guitars, octaves, pretending to be a 12 string, basically. Glockenspiel. Slide guitar. I will be thankful through pressure and pain when you come running, calling my name. There's actually a kind of a bad, poorly hit note here. <laughs> which I noticed recently and I'm going to pretend I put it on, on purpose because, you know, it's good to have something human, but actually I just forgot or didn't notice it was there. <laughs> I will be thankful through pressure and pain when you come Ooh. running most annoying sound so yeah I, doing that I, I, I thing was kind of supposed to be like annoying child baby crying sound so I wanted to push it to because it's a song all about kids and I'm imagining a child ah, but also running to you for a hug so and like with all my songs there's a kind of a saccharine element but then there's a I always pull back from the edge of being too saccharine by adding in some kind of doom laden lyrics so in this section I kind of talk about how we're all doomed I can't protect you I can't protect the children from the world around us but Ah, we try. One of my usual tricks is doing a key change. Nylon string, delicately strummed opening, big ending, key change. But this one, it was just seemed really forced. Whatever way the tone of my voice was, it was either like too low or too high. So, but I needed something to give it a bit of a kick at the end. So I came up with what I call the Fats Domino bit. There's a Fats Domino into the strokes. So the drums change here and Ken and Gavin really built on my idea and added something really cool with the drums here. Because I had kind of a more of a... Just a... <laughs> but it's much, there's much more finesse in it than my original idea. There's a fat domino piano we bit. Call in my name. Wow, 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 Strokes. Now, 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 now. Albert Hammond Jr. When nothing is pure and no one will be saved. Nothing's pure, no one will be saved. Gotta have those ooze at the end. So here's an interesting thing <laughs> for me. One of the reasons it takes me so long to write a songs is that every song has to have a moment where I literally get like goosebumps. And that sometimes is only through the recording. I get it, but... I don't, I basically won't accept one where I don't have a goosebumps moment. And I suppose it's ASMR. ASMR, is it? Yeah. Or something. But for me, it's literally, I literally get goosebumps at the same moment in every song, every time. And... This is the moment. It's usually near the end, which is <laughs> appropriate. Because that's the kind of... The, uh, you know, climax. This 
Impersonation. I'm all my days. Buddy Holly impression. I, will love you all my days. I pulled back on the Buddy Holly. Originally, it was kind of more, I will love you all my days. Which isn't really like him, but you know. I wanted a, a little bit of humour, a little bit of lightness there from John Hines. Two minutes, 50 seconds. Under three minutes, that's what I'm talking about. And that's my new single from the first. Um, I like it. I hope you do too. <laughs> 